You may have realized that recently Joomla 2.5 reached its end of life cycle and in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to upgrade a Joomla 2.5 site to Joomla 3. This is the site I'm going to upgrade. It's a Joomla 2.5 site that we built during a live Learn the Basics of Joomla webinar and it is a pretty basic Joomla site but there are third-party templates and extensions installed. Some of the steps I'm going to be covering in this tutorial are unique to cloudaccess.net clients, and there is some useful information in here for all Joomla users, but you may have to contact your hosting provider or install another third-party extension in order to create the backup. The first step in our process is creating that backup. So I'm going to go to the cloud control panel, and I'm going to locate the Bistro 3 site, the Joomla 2.5 site that I'd like to upgrade. I'm going to scroll down here and underneath the application tab, which I'll expand, I can locate the overview. Now in the overview, it's going to tell me that this is a Joomla 2.5 site. I already know that, so I'm going to go down to the Manage Backup tab and click on it. I don't have any backups for this site, so I'll click on the Create a Backup option here and select Full. That's going to help me create a full files and database backup for the site. And again, if you don't have your site hosted with cloudaccess.net, you're going to have to install a third-party extension like Akiba Backup in order to create the backup for your site. And this is a really important step because if I run into any issues with the upgrade, I can always restore the site from this backup. Now have some patience here too because depending on how large your site is, the backup could take a few minutes. When the backup is complete, I'll receive a message letting me know that the backup was successfully created, and if I close this window here, I'll see the backup appear in my Manage Backups area. I'm now ready to move on to the next step in the process. Once we've created the backup of our Joomla 2.5 site, it's time to log into the administration area so we can go through our third-party extensions to make sure that each extension that we're using in the site is compatible with Joomla 3. Let's go ahead and open up our extension manager and we'll click on the Manage tab to view all of the extensions that we've installed. There are different types of extensions installed in my Joomla site and to make this process a bit simpler we'll use the filter at the top of the page and I'll display just the components that are installed. This is a long list of components, but many of these I can ignore during this process. Anything authored by the Joomla project is a core Joomla file which will be overwritten once I upgrade Joomla itself. Also, anything that's grayed out can be ignored as it's not active in my Joomla site. When I'm going through this list, I'll look at the author column, and if it's authored by the Joomla project, I can ignore it, but if there's a different author, I need to pay attention to it. For instance, I've got a component installed in the site called Gantry, which is developed by Rocket Themes. Gantry is a framework for the template that I'm using in my site, and in a later step in this tutorial, I'm going to upgrade my template independently, so I know I can ignore this. But I also have the JCE editor, which is authored by someone other than the Joomla project. And what I want to do is go over to the version column. I'm using version 2.3.4.4 and I'm going to want to check in with the JCE people, the developer of this component, to make sure that this version is compatible with Joomla 3. If this version is compatible with Joomla 3, I'm safe to leave it in the site during the upgrade process. If it's not compatible with Joomla 3, I want to follow JCE's specific set of instructions on what to do with the component before I upgrade my Joomla site. They may ask that I uninstall the component and reinstall after I upgrade. Now remember, it's important that I go through this process not just with my components, but also with any modules that I've installed in the Joomla site as well. So I'll use the filter at the top of the page to display all of my modules. Again, I'll go through and I'll look for anything that's not grayed out or anything that's not authored by the Joomla project. I'll look at the version and I'll want to contact the developer to see if there's a new version available of that module before I start with the upgrade process. Lastly, don't forget you also need to check any plugins that you've installed in the site. If I go through the filter to view all of my plugins, again the same process applies here. I'll look for anything authored by someone other than the Joomla project that's not grayed out. This step is time consuming and a bit tedious, but it's probably the most important step to ensure a smooth upgrade process.
After making sure all of my extensions are updated and ready for Joomla 3, I also want to do the same process for any templates that I'm using in my Joomla site. So I'll go to my template manager, and here I can see that I'm using the cloud-based 2.0 template, which is meant for Joomla 2.5. I know that because this star in the default column is highlighted for the cloud-based 2.0. I also see here that I'm using the blue stork default template for my administrative template. I'm going to return to the home page of my site and this is what cloud-based 2.0 looks like. Again, it's built for Joomla 2.5. I know that because we built it here at Cloud Access. If you want to check your templates to see what it's compatible with, go and click on the template tab here and you should have a link to the developer for each of the templates that you have installed in your site. Check with the developer of each of the templates you're using in your Joomla 2.5 site to see if that template's ready for Joomla 3. If it is, you can skip this step entirely. If it isn't, you're going to want to delete those templates. Now, I've deleted the core templates that come with my Joomla 2.5 site, templates like Bees 2. So what I'm going to want to do and what you can do is go to your global configuration area and take your site offline. My site visitors will now receive the custom message that I see down below. To illustrate this, let's go ahead and select Save and Close, and then I'll return to the front end of my Joomla site and refresh the page. Again, the site is offline, so my site visitors will receive this message during this upgrade process. I'll return to the Joomla administration area, and what I want to do is I want to install my new template. So I'll click on the Choose File button in the Upload Package File area, and this is a list of all of the components and extensions that I had to update during this upgrade process. At the top is the cloud base version 3. I'll upload and install this into my Joomla site. This is the cloud base 3.0 version that's ready for Joomla 3. And once this is installed, it's also going to update that Gantry framework that I saw in the previous part of this tutorial. Once the installation of the new template is complete, I'll receive a series of check marks letting me know that the framework and template has been updated and installed. The next step for me is to return to my template manager where I want to change my default site template to the cloud base 3 template. I'll select the template here and click on the default button so I'm using a new default template. Next I want to delete the cloud base 2 template for Joomla 2.5 but I don't do that in this area. I'll want to go to my extension manager and I'll click on the manage tab at the top of the page. Again, we were here before, and we're going to use this filter again to filter for just our templates. Now, I have two cloud-based templates here. I want to select the cloud-based 2 template for Joomla 2.5, and I want to click on the Uninstall button at the top of the page. It's very important that you uninstall any Joomla 2.5 template that's not ready for Joomla 3 before upgrading Joomla itself, which is the next step. After making sure that I've deleted every Joomla 2.5 template from my site that I'm not going to be using with Joomla 3, I want to run the Joomla update process itself. So I'll go to Components and select Joomla Update here. Now you'll notice that I have Joomla 3.3.3 available for upgrading my Joomla site. If you don't see this available here, click on the Options button in the toolbar and make sure that Short-Term Support is selected here instead of Long-Term Support. I'll go ahead and close this area and I'll click on install the update towards the bottom of the page. This update will take a little bit of time as the new files are installed and they are overriding the old files for your Joomla site. Be patient during this process and don't close or log out of the administration area. Once the update is complete, you'll receive a message letting you know that you have successfully updated to Joomla 3, and if you go back to your control panel, you'll see that you have the new Joomla 3 administrative interface, which is much improved from the Joomla 2.5 interface. Our site, however, is still in offline mode, so we'll go to System and Global Configuration to put the site back online by turning Offline to No.
Next, we'll click on Save and Close, and we'll be able to return to the front end of our Joomla site and refresh the page to see that our site has been upgraded to Joomla 3 and that we're also using CloudBase 3, the template we installed before removing our CloudBase 2 template for Joomla 2.5. Looking through the site, I see my logo and my main menu, my modules and my content is in place, and even my social sharing options here, which is a third-party extension, has been updated to Joomla 3. Because it's a new template, I still have some customization left to do, but I have upgraded to Joomla 3. After upgrading to Joomla 3, there are a few final steps to take to finish the entire process and clean up the site. We're going to start by going to our extension manager and we're going to remove any templates that aren't Joomla 3 ready. So open up the extension manager and we'll click on the manage button here. We'll then use that filter down below to filter just for our templates. I already removed several of those templates that were for Joomla 2.5, but here I see that I have the blue stork template, that administrative template, that's for Joomla 2.5, and I can see that in my version column here. I'll click on the uninstall button to remove that, and you may have some additional templates that you want to remove from your site, templates that are ready for Joomla 2.5. After removing those templates, the final steps are to check your database for any errors that occurred during the update process. If there were any, you could select those issues and click on the Fix option here. You'll also want to click on the Discover tab right here to see if there are any updates for extensions or templates that you have installed in the site. And you can also click on those and install those in this area. And lastly, you'll want to click on the Update tab just to see if there are any any updates for any components that you've installed into the site. Again, you can select those and update those here. We hope that this tutorial has been helpful and that you have successfully updated to Joomla 3.